so this is my local instance remember so i'm just going to log out of this log out of my local instance scroll it away then log into my remote so this is the server this is where i want to install my app all right so i don't want to i don't want to create that app there this thing here again from scratch what i want to do is i want to get the app that i already created here you remember the test app that i created with the doc type the toast doc type and i want to install them here so right now if you check here we do not have this app so how do we get the app and install it here the same way we did when we were installing your app next so let me clear this so you need to be logged into your to your instance so i'm going to do that then i grab my password i think this is my password <coughs> i click on next nice then i just sudo sudo su and then this is your app next right then i'm going to do a cd to home oops no. go home and then go to bench and then what what do we call this server we called it your next list there we go clear so let me remind you something here see the way we pulled let me go to my blog here so called with karani code with karani where are you here you come And then I'm just going to search install ERP next. Click on next. And here you go. So click on this first link here. And scroll down. I want to show you something. You see how we pulled ERP next from GitHub. We said bench get up and then we provided a branch and all that. This one on your GitHub repository yeah on your github repository down up here there is this code so what you need to do is uh you can pick either of these so i am just going to pick the ssh one copy this so i'm on i mean i'm on ssh then i'm going to go here and say bench get iphone app okay then i paste bench get up that then i do enter I, I wrote bench wrongly so let me just today my spelling uh, is very bad so i'll do a bench get up then i go and you can see this one is asking me whether i, uh, I want to actually confirm that fatal error let me see what this error is complaining about Where, where, where is the error coming from? Let's see. Access rights is what is giving us issues. So we can just avoid this one. And we can get the one for HTTPS. The SSH one is giving, is complaining. So let's get this. Clear. Then bench, get hyphen app, paste. This one is cloning and then installing. You can see it's saying that it's installing our said custom app. All right. So this app has now been pulled from GitHub. It is now on our remote repository, which is, in this case, our uh, cloud host. So what I did here, you can see GitHub has three tabs on top. We have HTTPS, SSH, and GitHub CLI. So when SSH doesn't work, just use the HTTPS one and you'll be good to go. That is what I did. And then remember, the next thing that we did when we hit, we installed our app is to say a bench. Then our site, let's then move our site again. Let me just go to sites and check. Uh, list here. So we it's github.demo. So you can show a bench and then dash dash site. And github dot, not hyphen demo and then install iphone app the, what's the app that you want to install is this app 
Oh, what's the name of our app? Let me just go delete this first and then I do a bench version. I want to get the name of my app. So this is the name of the app. So now I can do a bench site and then the site is github.demo and then install iPhone app. And then I can just copy this like that and paste here. So bench site GitHub demo. My spelling today is not so great. I think it's because it's Christmas. <laughs> so this thing is being installed and it is done. It's installed. Now I don't know whether this server is still running, so let's just check, refresh. And looks like we have a module error. Okay just restart the server so so what I'm going to do here is a simple bench I don't know whether well let me just do a sudo reboot that is my password and this one has, uh, is rebooting so the reason why I know that is because you can see this one has closed this section so connection to this one has been closed this is not pointing to my local computer so let me clear this and then i will just try to log into that server but log in back to that server and looks like it's up so let me just provide the password oh i was copying from the wrong side so copy this here and we are in so sudo su we are up next remember the reason why we need to do this is because we are running this on developer mode i have not batch i have not um i have not switched to production mode so i have to go in and do bench start so once i do bench start this one starts and runs on port 8000 nice this thing should work now also refresh and let's see what happens it's saying not permitted because i just need to log in so i will just log in click on verify it's verifying my password and looks like it's successful and then what we want to see here guys we want to see things happen we want to see our app being installed here and we also want to see our doc type working so check about us and we have set innovations amazing we did not create this app uh, here remotely we created this locally we put it on github and we pulled it up and that's not all how about when we go to doc type list are we going to see our doc type there it's loading the doc types test doc type is here how amazing is that and you can see it has first name last name email, email and age and everything that we needed so how about if i want to change this doctor maybe i want to add here um what what would i be needing to add so just something to test whether it works yeah so <clears throat> i'll still do that on my local machine yeah so i'm just going to open an incognito window so that i can stop these sessions from colliding is it two or is it one I'm not sure so yeah login and what i want to do here guys is i want to create something what i want to do is i want to create all right actually let me show you this in the next section guys let me just close this one here is getting very long let's do it in the next section so so till then cheers